Hi, my name is Michael Chi, Product Manager for Matrox Imaging. Welcome to the Matrox Imaging booth here at AutoMate 2011 in Chicago. I will walk you through one of the demos we have here. First, we have a print inspection demo based on our high performance computing platform, the Matrox SuperSight. The Matrox SuperSight is designed with a PCI Express Gen 2 switch fabric backplane that allows different devices to be connected to the 14 PCI Express slots. One of our goals for designing the Matrox SuperSight is to offer a system with high density and high flexibility for users to effectively combine and take advantage of the latest processing technologies from the CPUs, GPUs, or FPGA boards. Also with the Matrox SuperSight, unlike traditional industrial PCs with segmented backplanes, not only can you configure the systems in up to four independent compute clusters, but with the help of a communication API called Distributed Mill, you can program the systems to work as a unified system. Now, let's, look at, let's take a look at what we have set up here for the print inspection demo. First, we're capturing raw Bayer image data from a high-speed color line scan camera into the Matrox Radiant Frame Grabber. From there, the Matrox Radiant Frame Grabber will distribute round-robin images into two separate compute clusters. Each of them consists of a CPU board, a dual quad-core CPU, as well as a professional-grade workstation GPU card. To look at the processing that are being run in the systems, we'll switch over and take a look at the software that is being run. Because it is raw Bayer image that are incoming into the SHP, our system host board, we do first a Bayer conversion to convert it into RGB, then a few steps to, do, to find and locate the position of the model that we want to inspect with regards to a golden template that we have previously set. Then we transfer all the data onto the GPU to do further image pre-processing to prepare the image for the final step that is the actual defect inspection that is done on the SHP, system most board. So in there, we do the blob analysis to show you the defects that are on the print inspection. In summary, what we're trying to show with this demo is the advantages of using the Matrox SuperSight to combine different processing hardware along with using the appropriate software architecture to perform image processing functions for a print inspection that otherwise could not be achieved on a traditional single PC, dual quad core PC because of a lack of processing power as well as the inappropriate software architecture. Thank you. Right now, I have my colleague Todd Honeyville discuss about his demo. My name is Todd Honeyville. I'm with Honeyville Automation. We're a small integrator outside of Chicago and uh, we are an official Matrox integrator. We've been working with them for a couple of years now. <laughs> and uh, we've put in about 50 vision systems over the last couple of years. Mostly smart cameras, but we also do uh, the mill stuff, which is uh, you can put anything together. You've seen some of that stuff with, uh, on the Matrox site already. Uh, but this, what we've done here is a, a machine vision application with a smart camera. Up here we have a, a, a Matrox smart camera. It happens to be a color camera, and we're taking a picture <coughs> taking a picture of this conveyor and uh, we're analyzing what the what parts are on the conveyor this happens to be a simulation so they're just tape but we either we're analyzing what the color is it's white yellow or red in this case we're picking the white ones uh, we can select any of the other ones too if we want to but then we do some uh, conveyor tracking with the robot and then do a simulated pick and place Honeyville Automation specializes in material handling. Uh, we also do process control. We do vision systems. We do robotic integration. We build systems from the ground up. Now you're going to talk to Fabio Pirelli from Matrox. He's going to explain some other things to you. And at this station here, we're demonstrating Design Assistant 2.4, our new version of Design Assistant. Uh, one of the new things that we've added to uh, Design Assistant here is uh, color tools. So we have uh, color distance, color projection and what we're actually demonstrating here is a color matching so you can see that we have a color camera our color Iris GT that's uh, doing the uh, the work uh, so the camera is mounted on top of these uh, objects and uh, basically the objects look like this 
And what we're trying to do here, we're trying to match uh, things not by the shape of it, of it, but by its colors. So what we're doing, we're matching uh, the banana here with the yellow color. So if the banana is not quite yellow or it's too dark, then we're not going to match it. If it's the right color, then it actually it is a good match. The uh, user interface on the other side uh, basically shows what an operator would see. So we have here all the information that we're displaying. So we have the actual images with overlays of where we have located the banana bites color. Uh, we also have pass fail indicators to show the operator what uh, the status of the operation is. And with Design Assistant, we're able to do multiple operations at once. So at the same time, we're also uh, verifying the text, which is the expiry date that's printed on the actual labels themselves. So we're doing color matching and OCR inspection on these, uh, on these labels here. If you'd like to get more information about our products in general, uh, you can come to our website, which is www.matrox.com slash imaging. Thank you.